it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back with the new sewing pattern releases for January. It's the first one of 2019. I'm quite excited to talk to you about patterns because I haven't done a new sewing pattern releases for a couple of months now because December's always really quiet. Um, saying that actually January has not been, I thought there was going to be loads and loads and loads of new patterns. They've been a nice chunk but not sort of at the level I thought it was going to be. Um, so I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, I've got seven to talk to you about. So those sort of my seven favourite or most interesting stuff that I think you guys would like. And then there is a link to a blog post down below, down there, and um, it's got everything that has been released this month so you can go and have a proper look through. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about is the Jocko pullover from ready to sew this is a pdf pattern and comes in sizes 4 to 24 uk this is i included this because it's basically what you want to be wearing at this time of year it look it's really cozy it's quick to make to me this is like a bit of a no-brainer if you're a bit unsure about what i know a lot of us are finding getting back into sewing a little bit tricky so this I think would be a really nice starting point because it doesn't take too long you're gonna get a lot of wear out of it because it's gonna keep you warm um, so the pattern um, it comes with two options so the first option has got this quite dramatic neckline kind of it's almost like an, a, a mixture of a cowl and a polo neck um, and it's quite kind of a statement um, the pattern features drop shoulders so that means that the um, shoulder seam comes down below where the natural one would be and it has um, it's slightly longer at the front than the back and it's got a split up the side which I love I think it's great um, as you can see in the pictures they have put poppers down there which I think is a really nice detail but you could also totally just not have the poppers there as well if you didn't want to the second option is um, a little bit more um, well, it's just the neckline's different, so you can have the neckline without the big cowl, just a sort of sweeping neckline. And then this opening down the shoulder seam with buttons, which is very, very French. And I think this is just lovely. I really like it. Um, it seems like it's been really popular. All of you guys have been talking a lot about it. And um, yeah, I just really, I just think it would be a really nice one. I do actually really want to make it, but again, that's whether I can actually squeeze it in. Um, right, so next one, I don't know if I even said it's available on the online shop, it is available on the online shop if you like it, and there will be links to everything below. Um, right, next pattern we've got is the Runa dress from Meliot, and I'm probably saying that wrong, incorrectly. So this is, um, if you haven't come across them before, they are an, they're from Norway, this brand. Um, really nice sort of staples and I thought this dress was really lovely and I thought it would actually suit quite a lot of body types so I put it in. So this is a PDF pattern, it's available on the online shop and it comes in sizes ooh, 32 to 52 which is 4 to 24. Right, so stuff that I really like about this, it's a jersey dress, it's quite simple construction, um, it's got sort of standard sleeves, a scoop neckline and the interesting thing about it is it has this pleated detail into the side seam. I think this is really lovely and would suit quite a lot of body shapes. Um, I also thought that if you are in the early stages of your pregnancy I, or actually if you tweak it a bit I think this could be a good maternity dress if you're looking for that as well. Um, because it's got this pleating around the waist, it's, that is adding some extra room around there, which to be honest, most of us want anyway. And I really like the fact that you could definitely wear this if you were kind of for maternity wear as well. But I thought this was really nice. You could totally wear this at the office, you could wear this on a night out, and it's jersey, so it'd be really, really comfortable. Um, in terms of the construction, the pleating bit at the side is probably your only complicated bit and actually it looks fairly simple. So the pattern, if you bought this, the pattern would look completely mad because this, the sort of, it would all be kind of fanned out around the waist. So it would, 
if you are a beginner maker and you buy this pattern just <laughs> and it will look quite scary but don't worry it'll all it'll work itself out in the end but yeah I thought this was a really lovely one again it wouldn't take you too long to make which is always a winner in my boat and yeah actually only yeah only a meter and a half to two meters of fabric as well so it's not too kind of fabric hungry this dress yeah I thought it was a nice one to include um, next up I have got the Richmond jacket from Nina Lee this comes in sizes 6 to 20 it's available as a PDF pattern and it's not on our website I included this because the last two patterns have been quite simple and I wanted to include something a bit more complicated. Um, if you haven't come across Nina Lee before, um, she's a London based um, pattern cutter and she's got probably about six or seven patterns now um, and all of her patterns are named after areas of London which I really like. So this is Richmond which is, if you have ever been to Richmond, it's quite an affluent area of London and I think this jacket would be perfect there. So um, it is quite an involved make this one. So this is not for, I, I say, I would say an intermediate maker. Um, it's lined, it's got, um, it's got, what are they called, the pockets? Kind of notched lapel pockets. So your standard, almost like a um, tuxedo jackets um, pockets. It's got, um, and then from the pocket it's got darting up to the bust um, it's got a two-piece sleeve which means which is really nice it means the, the movement is better and you can add shaping onto the sleeve um, and then at the back it's got sort of princess seam so it's I would say as close to a men's tuxedo as you can get but obviously Nina has made this for women so I really I really like the look of it as you can see from the pictures it's quite a relaxed fit um, and I really like how long the jacket is so it really does come down below your bottom and I think I just love how it's styled as well so the picture that you can see is um, worn with her portobello trousers so if you like if you wanted to create that entire look you could totally buy the jacket and the trousers the trousers we have on our online shop so I'll pop a link to those as well if you're interested in those. Um, yeah I thought this was a really good one if you want to like take on a good project. The nice thing about taking on something like this is that you can sew bits at a time so you could sit down, do one pocket, come back another time, do the other pocket. I think when you're making something like this that's a bit more involved you're Psych more psych well, I find I'm more psychologically prepared that it's not going to I'm not going to get it done in a day I just want to do a bit at a time and taking your time over the details on this will make it all the difference so yeah that was a really really nice one next up we have got the um, I am patterns who are a French pattern company if you haven't come across them beautiful stuff definitely worth checking out kind of understated and quite cool with a little kind of French twist. Um, this is their first dalliance into men's patterns and I thought there aren't often that many men's patterns released so I would share this one because I think this is a really lovely one and either if you're a sewing for men, sewing for yourself, if you're a man watching this I feel like there's barely any men that watch this but um, I thought this would be a really nice present for like a partner or a brother or a you know godson or whatever um it's a really nice simple sweatshirt pattern it i just thought this was so kind of good and i think it's got i'm finding okay so it, it's got um standard sleeves it's got cuffing around the um cuffing ribbing around the cuff and then it's got a little band at the waistband as well and then it's got a band around your neckline so it's essentially the men's equivalent of the linden but without raglan sleeves which i am wearing today the linden um i think this would be really great because one it won't take very long to make and two you'll look really generous if you make it as a present for someone so it comes in sizes let me just have a look extra small to extra extra large 
Um, so around the um, around the bust, it's 35 and a half inches up to 43 and 38 inches. So I hope that yeah, it's quite a good size range actually. Um, but yeah, this would be a really nice one to make. It's not available on the online shop at the moment. I think it is coming. Um, we're about to have iron patterns PDFs on the site soon. So yeah, watch this space. Next up, I've got an add-on and I don't usually mention add-ons to patterns, but this one was really good and it was too good not to add. So this is, um, many of you will have either made or planning to make or thinking about making the flint pants from Megan Nielsen. These are, I'll show a picture so you can see them. These come in size is eight to 16, this is UK. This is available on our online shop, the flint pants. Relaxed pair of kind of culottes. They've got pleats at the front. They've got this really lovely, interesting tie detail at the side, which I adore. Um, and I just, I, I just, I love them. I've actually got them over there and I haven't made them yet. So the really lovely thing about them is they've added, and it's free as well, it's an overall add-on. So it's a, basically a bib that you can add to the front, which means that um, you can make them into dungarees. And I thought there was a really nice detail. I love it when companies add something extra to a pattern so that you can transform it into something else. And I thought this was really nice. So if you've already owned the flint pants, you can just, I will pop the link down below. You can go onto Megan Nielsen's site and download the bib part for free. Um, and I think that really is really nice. It really adds value to a pattern. But I think it would be quite a simple construction just adding the bib onto the front. Um, I assume you just catch it into the waistband. Um, you could even button it from the inside so that you, it's removable, which would be quite interesting. And that means then you get the bo best of both worlds. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a really fun like add-on to a kind of really, really popular pattern. Right, next up we have got the Stellan T from French Navy. This comes in sizes extra extra small to extra extra large. It's not available on the online shop, but it is a free pattern, so that is fantastic. And that is why I put it in here, because it's lovely to have something for free. Um, so this is your bog standard t-shirt. It is a classic shape, quite close fitting, quite a high neckline, um, standard sleeves, whip it up in half an hour. I just thought this was really nice and for anyone who wants to make a t-shirt pattern this would be a really nice place to start because the pattern is free and I think it's a really classic shape like you're not going to be disappointed with it and the thing about something like this is if you invest the time to make it fit, make, you know, make make all those tiny little tweaks around the shoulders or around the bust depending on your size and fit needs you can then transform this into loads of different things you can make it into a v-neck you can make it into a like a sort of tank top i think the thing that sometimes we don't do is we don't invest in the small you know investing in a t-shirt and making the fit of that perfect because that's something you wear on a day-to-day -day basis and if you do that, then you're going to, you know, a t-shirt is never, ever going to go out of style. So it's definitely, definitely worth kind of investing in, in, in a t-shirt and making it fit perfectly. So last, but definitely not least, is the Lauren jacket from Stylark. This comes in sizes 4 to 30. It's not available on the online shop. This coat... I absolutely love and if you haven't made a coat before this is a really really nice place to start it's really really simple so the pattern features it's got a kind of I think it's a grown-on neckline I think it's hard maybe it's not yeah sort of grown-on collar I think it is patch pockets I don't think it's lined it's really really simple if you haven't made a coat before this would be a really nice place to start what I would recommend if you're 
is picking fabric carefully so something like a wow there's some weird light going on up here I'm sorry guys um, I have to say I'm really sorry but at this time of year filming for me is really difficult because the light is completely bonkers some days it's like so bright I can't film and I'm sorry so you get these weird light shows pretty much in every video either I have stripes across my face or it's yeah I mean obviously I'm British I can't I can't resist shoving in some talk of sunshine and weather but yeah apologies about whatever it is going on up here yeah nuts anyway sorry back to the Lauren jacket um yeah so picking the fabric for this is the key thing because if it is not it I think I'm pretty sure it is not lined it doesn't actually say which is not particularly helpful I don't think it is lined let's have a look at the line drawing yeah I'm pretty sure it isn't lined so picking something picking the fabric for this is really really key you want to pick something that doesn't fray so something like a boiled wool would work perfectly for this um, you can see here they've used a kind of shearling um, and two-tone wool which would be lovely for it be perfect um, just making sure you pick something that's that isn't going to fray is essential otherwise you'll have a disaster on your hands but I actually don't think this would take you that long to make either I think it would be quite a simple one so you could also actually looking at this sorry I'm you could totally make this in a knit so if you had like a structured ponty it would work really really well in this but yeah it's a really simple one and I thought really nice and you could either have it as a coat or you could have it as like a kind of cardigan as well which would be really nice but yeah it wouldn't take you too long I don't think this this one anyway I hope you enjoyed that apologies for the um <laughs> The, the light show that's going on behind me and I will be back soon with another video. Have a lovely week everyone. Bye!